taboo that asks what little things we can all be doing to make sure we're as kind to ourselves as we are to the people that we love. Good morning. Goodness me, do I feel tired this morning. Do you know when you go to bed at a really reasonable time and then you wake up feeling like you've been out all night? Oh my goodness. I feel like I've like been out partying or something. Anyway, I haven't. <laughs> I went to bed after my hot milk and I read my book for about three pages before I was too tired to carry on and went to sleep. I'm at work because today is Wednesday. Sorry, I'm just cutting out a load of yawning as, as though to prove my point. I've got my iPad with me because I'm going to start editing yesterday's vlog. I've been listening to a really good podcast that my friend, um, not not the podcast, it's The Happy Place with Fern Cotton. Um, and I love that podcast, but a certain episode of it that my friend recommended, which I've been really enjoying this morning. So I shall finish that off on my way home. Dr. Rangan Chatterjee is the interview. And that is, I don't normally listen to podcasts on my way to work. I normally listen to an audio book, but I finished my audio book and I need to choose my next one. I've got three bags with me today full of stuff because as well as my day job which I'm here to do at lunchtime I've got um, to call the dentist make an appointment for a filling because I've got a, a cracked tooth right at the front here that he reckons he can sort out with a filling um, I've got to order some stuff for a friend's birthday and various other things that require me to have certain things with me but right now I'm going to find my apple pencil where is it? Oh, I've also got my podcast notes with me because I'm going to try and make sense of those throughout the day. I won't, I won't have time for half of this, but I like to be optimistic. <laughs> Apple pencil. Right, I'm going to spend the next... I'm not wearing my watch. I never used to wear a watch, but I absolutely love wearing my watch now. I have an Apple watch and I've turned everything off on it. So I get no notifications or anything because that would drive me absolutely crazy. And I just use it as a watch for finding my phone <laughs> because I can ping my iPhone and I constantly have no idea where my phone is. So I'm constantly wandering around the house, pinging it, going, where's that noise coming from? And for tracking my walks, tracking my exercise. And I feel a bit naked without it. I've left it at home. I, I put it on to charge last night. This is really boring. Why am I telling you all this nonsense? <laughs> Anyway, it didn't charge, so I had to put, leave it charging today, but that's okay. I'm not going to be doing any walking or anything today. Okay, I'm going to stop nattering and spend 20 minutes editing. So my day turned out to be very full on, which is always good as I like to be busy, but of course it meant I hardly filmed a thing for the vlog during the day. I did make it out for a lunchtime walk though to see how the nature is doing. Lots of daisies at the moment. Oh, good morning, Mr. Magpie. How's your lady wife? <laughs> there are so many wood anemones at the moment. They're such pretty little flowers. I really love them. They're very toxic though. And this bird skipped right across my path. Does anybody know what it is? I, I couldn't figure it out and I've never seen one like this. And I'm wondering if it might be some kind of woodpecker. I have no idea. <laughs> Answers in the comments. <laughs> and the early dog violets are out. These are a really important food source for five of Britain's most endangered butterflies. This is Laurel. If I'm sounding knowledgeable, I'm not. I have a fantastic app called Picture This that I use to identify and learn about the plants I find on my walks. This is Asiatic Apple Blossom. It's a species of crab apple. Now I'm heading home. It rained a lot all afternoon, so everything at this point smelled amazing. And I drive home a slightly different route to the one I drive into work, and in winter it's pitch black so I can never film it so I thought I would include just a little bit of footage of what the windy road is like. I really enjoy uh, driving this road at any time of year.
water coming through the ceiling. We have lived in this house for about seven years and for six of those years we did every other room in the house except the kitchen and our bedroom. And we eventually, finally, excitingly did the bedroom uh, about eight months ago. Had it fully plastered, painted it freshly and everything and about five weeks ago the ceiling sprung a leak. <laughs> It could have happened any time in the six years before we decorated, but no. So we've got, we've had one quote and we've got another roofer coming um, today. It's taken a while to get back from the insurance to see if we can get it on that. We can't, it's gonna be super expensive to sort it out and it's very annoying. <laughs> and it's rained a lot today, so we're just hoping it doesn't get too bad and it might hold out. Anyway, I have barely filmed a thing today. I'm home now and it is, uh, it's just coming up for quarter to six. And I'm going to spend a bit of time editing. Dan has been at home working today and he has promised that he's gonna cook dinner. We're only having sort of pasta and salad, but if I don't have to cook it, I'm happy. So I'm gonna spend a bit of time up here editing yesterday's vlog because it has been really flat out at work today, really busy. And um, I didn't get a chance at lunchtime and I only had 10 minutes in the car this morning. So I'm going to do it now and see where the evening takes us. I'm still struggling a little bit with obviously the change in light, it being quarter to six and the sun is streaming into the bedroom. I really, really struggle with this transition to the longer evenings. I know that a lot of people are the opposite and uh yeah so if you can imagine perhaps how you feel if you are someone that struggles with the transition to shorter evenings that's how i feel with the transition to longer evenings but i do try to look for the good in it and i said last year that the, this is the only time of year when i look out of the front windows here and downstairs in the living room there is a massive tree over there that's kind of silhouetted against the sky and because we've got all the curtains open and it's still light i get to see it and that's you know, that's a positive. Uh, yeah, right, stop navel gazing and get on with editing. <laughs> Blue nails. Are you going to hold them up? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to imagine what they look like. Oh, it's very steamy in here. It's a very rainy day today, which makes me happy. Is that okay? We'll be home by then. Is she, was she okay to change the day for your pottery painting? Yeah. Okay, I've got you on the bed, so I have to make no sudden movements because I could wobble you. Uh, obviously, I haven't filmed much today, so I thought I'd just talk about a couple of books from my uh, bedside table. I've just finished my orange squash, um, and I've got a pile of books here. That's my alarm clock. Uh, and here, I don't know if you can see it, or you can. Lilia made this, so she helps out um, with brownies and rainbows as a young leader. So, and they were doing an activity with them and she joined in, you know, to, to help out. And she made me a, a bear out of um, a face cloth and it's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> 
and then we were supposed to be for Mother's Day presents and I keep finding it so I found it in my bed last night. She did give it a name but I can't remember what she called it. <laughs> it's just so funny. I love it. So I keep finding it about the place. Oh, shall I hide it under Dan's pillow? There we go. He'll find that when he gets into bed later. That'll be fun. Um, okay, so I thought I'd just um, tell you about a couple of the books, at least, that are on my bedside table. Uh, I have loads. <laughs> I'm always lining up books to read. So the one that I'm currently reading is Happy Families by Julie Ma. I'm about that far through you can just see my bookmark so not very because I keep falling asleep <laughs> uh, but I'm really enjoying it it's good I'm not sure where it's going uh, but yeah I quite like it we'll see where it goes uh, and it's about uh, a, a woman a young woman who goes home to help with the sorry scratching my eyes with the family Chinese takeaway business and it's about her family and and what's happening within it. So I'm enjoying that. That was a Christmas present. And then I've also got The Great Chocolate Plot, which I'm reading with Phoebe. Phoebe's actually already read this and she really loved it. It's by Chris Callahan, and we're just reading it together. I've got a bookmark in here that my friend Gaynor gave me. It looks like a snowdrop. How gorgeous is that? So we're slowly working our way through this again and it is very funny, I have to say. Uh, what else? Oh, I, this is a book I've finished. So it is Second Class Citizen by Bucci Emicita. I've spoken about it quite a bit before. I really enjoyed it. Oh, look, you can see, you can see the camera there. I <laughs> uh, really enjoyed this book and yeah, I would definitely read more of her stuff in the future. I don't know why it's still on my bedside table because normally I only reserve that for books that I haven't read. So. I'll have to find a new space for that. My mum gave me this one the other day. She said she thought um, that I would really enjoy it. It's called The Memory Police and it's by Yoka Ogawa. Yoko Ogawa, a dreamlike story of dystopia. She said it was a really unusual book, but one that she really, really enjoyed. It says here it's a timeless fable of control and loss and it feels more timely than ever echoes the themes of George Orwell's 1984, but it has a voice and power all of its own. Ooh, that sounds good. I read 1984 many years ago, and it's really stayed with me, that book. I'm pretty sure anyone who's ever read it probably would say the same. I've got The Lollipop Shoes, which is a follow-up to the book Chocolat by Joanne Harris, and this is on loan to me from my friend Suzanne who is the person behind Green Lampkin Yarns. She's an absolutely lovely person and an amazing yarn dyer. I've got a Billy Connolly book. This is not his autobiography, which I listened to on audiobook recently, but it's the best of Billy Connolly. It's like all little anecdotes and stories. I got this, I think, for my birthday last year, uh, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, I was going to read it when we went away to Scotland, but uh, yeah, I haven't got round to reading that yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I love Billy Connolly. I've got the uh, junior version of Black and British, Black and British by David Olasoga. I bought this to read, uh, well, for Lilia to read, and now I have been slowly. Uh, I went a bit. I have. I have been read. Cool, blimey. <laughs> I have been reading it with Phoebe, and we're about halfway through it together. Um, I listened to. Uh, I listened to Black and British, the full. Um, the, the full book which is really really long um, on audiobook and it was absolutely brilliant I loved it I listened to that for a long time and I really wanted to get this so the kids could experience some of the the, the lessons the history within it so that's really good Oggy and me uh, I got halfway so we loved Wonder uh, we've all read Wonder Lilia read it Phoebe's read it I've read it Dan's read it and we of course we've all seen the film as well and then I start at uh, Lilia read Oggy and Me and really enjoyed it and she passed it to me and Phoebe to read together but we only got about halfway through it and then she kind of lost interest so I haven't really read it since I stopped reading it with her so this is something I, I would like to get back to and finish at some point. 
And finally, I've got my Fern Cotton Happy book. I have only got about a quarter of the way through this, but I was really enjoying it. And I don't know really why I put it down. Uh, I want to get back to reading it. I was listening to one of her uh, podcasts today. So, and there it is right at the bottom of the pile. So I need to get back to reading this because I really like what she's trying to do um, for mental health and well-being. And that is the pile of books that is here, at least, next to, my next to my bedside. There's a whole load of other books over there as well. <laughs> so I think I'm going to say goodnight now. I have no idea what today's vlog is going to be like. Like I say, it was just a really, really busy day at work today. And I didn't have a moment to really get out even for a proper walk. I just zoomed around really quickly. And it was really windy and cold, so I was quite glad to get back inside. Sorry, you keep, I'll keep turning away from you. <laughs> there, the pile of books is reinstated. So I've just finished editing my uh, vlog from yesterday. So that is now uploading. And then there was a really weird error with YouTube. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden my vlog, which has just been poodling along quite nicely um, from day... Four, yeah, day four for Monday, uh, just suddenly went private and all the comments disappeared. So, and also the title disappeared as well. So I had to quickly go in and I could, I could just about remember what I'd called it and the description as well had disappeared. So I had to quickly go in, put a title back in, put the description back in and make it public again. All the views are still there, but it went from about 80 odd comments down to seven. So I have no idea what's happened. It's clearly some kind of weird YouTube glitch or something. I will Google it in a minute to see if anyone else has reported problems. But it just goes to show, doesn't it, that sometimes you are just at the mercy of technology and sometimes technology makes no sense. <laughs> right, I am now in my pyjamas. I'm going to go and spend some time with my family. I'm going to have my hot milk. And then I'm going to come to bed with the intention of reading a good chapter of my book and probably fall asleep after three pages. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for all of your comments. Sorry if you left one on the day four vlog and it's got lost. Hopefully it will reappear. And I am reading them all and you're making me laugh so much with your teach to Anthony. <laughs> he loves that. And all of your friendly help and help and advice and I just yeah thank you so much for watching it's lovely to have uh, to know that there are other people out there in the world just with similar interests and similar outlooks and I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> good night I'll see you tomorrow I've just gone to publish my vlog from yesterday and the one from day four is completely normal again and it's back to 85 comments what's going on what's happening YouTube I am confusion <laughs>